stand here, just go like this, <laughs> and I will realize that that's what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if this is proper or not, but I am an author, an illustrator, and I brought books to show you. If you're interested, you can see those then. She's going to help me, I suppose. <laughs> uh, could we just open with a word of prayer? Lord, we thank you for this evening that we can celebrate our mothers and our daughters. We thank you that you have made us your daughters and that would make us princesses. And we just thank you for that special relationship that we have with you. Pray that you would calm my jitters and speak through me, that others would hear your message for them and they would go home um, wanting to serve you more. We thank you and praise you for it all. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay. This is my granddaughter, Sydney, and she's <laughs> She doesn't take after her V at all. Okay. Um, I'm kind of excited tonight because after 38 years of marriage, Gina and I decided that we were going to go on a date. And that seems to be the trendy thing these days, a date night. And being that it's been so long and all, do you want to take it back to mommy? Thank mommy, you. you open it? Yeah. Thank you. I decided I better um, look into the Bible and then find out what, a, what is appropriate for a woman to look like. Me. And so I came to this book of the Song of Solomon. And I read there and I thought, well, Solomon was the wisest man that ever lived. And he also knew a little bit about women, I would think. So I decided that this is what I'm going to do. I am going to make myself appear as the woman that he loved. And uh, Jean will really appreciate that. So in the book of Solomon, in chapter 4 and chapter 7, I think it is, he describes his love. And this is what I found out. It says, how beautiful are your sandal feet? I may not keep these on the time. <laughs> I might get a nose for you. Okay. How graceful are your legs? They're like jewels. So I need jeweled legs. <laughs> you want to do it? Okay. Oh, your navel is a rounded goblet. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
done drawing. Please don't tell me it's not working. No, it knows working. It's been raised up a little bit. Where did my note go? Oh my goodness, this is something. Okay, I'll go. There we go. Well, you'll have to hold that one, Steve. Okay. And your nose. Oh. <laughs> um, my nose is a power. <laughs> well, I can fix that. Okay. Your nose is a power. And um, your lips are. I'm going to have to take my nose off again. Excuse me. A scarlet ribbon. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, see, he did say some nice things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, oh, you oh, my God, I lost my words. Um, <laughs> after that, he's... Oh, dear. This is a little embarrassing. Uh, excuse me. Who God is. 
and who you are, the daughter of the king, in, in the image of Christ. Don't talk about, to him about the needs of others. And don't add to your mind. He never asks us to add to our minds. In fact, he forbids it. He wants us to be fully focused on him. And we can't do that with an empty mind. Um, through Jeremiah, God relates to us his desire to have a close relationship with him. He tells us, call on me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. You know, the one thing that separates Christianity from all other religions is our relationship with Jesus Christ. And a relationship isn't, isn't what other, other religions have. They, go, they pray to a God out of fear. And they don't know if God ever answers them or even hears their prayers. The God that they pray to. Our God hears and he cares and he answers. And he wants to hold us when we're down. And he wants to be with us when we're happy. I can feel his presence rejoicing with us tonight. He loves to laugh. But he also cries with us when we cry. Now I'll leave you with this question. What are you doing to enhance your relationship with your Heavenly Father? We talked about being his daughter and trusting him. Missy Skit was, was just beautiful. I really enjoyed that. But also, he wants that personal relationship and personal means to make it personal. Make it a time when you're just reflecting on him. on him. I'll close with this. Psalm 33, 20. We wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. Yeah. May your unfailing love rest upon us, O Lord, even as we put our hope in you. Thank you. Thank you.